Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. So yes, we returned um, from a little trip. Um, we've had another issue which, yeah, it just seems to be our luck at the moment. So halfway through the trip we ran into an issue where we had no hot water. Um, what we were getting was um, an error 6 in the control unit. Um, tried googling it um, and didn't have much success. So today I've, I've spoken to Truma who have confirmed that actually it's one of the fans within the actual main combi um, boiler itself that's gone that needs to repl be replaced. Um, and there's two ways to actually get the fault codes obviously depending on what control unit you've got. Obviously we did have the actual main unit give us a, a, a 6 error um, but you can actually get it um, from a, a flash code on the actual combi but um, I'll show you the, the actual issue that we had just in case any of you guys experience this in the future. So what happens is you'll turn it on as normal and you heard it click in and you'll hear this fan fire up in a minute like that and then in a second you get that which you get that code there the error 6 and obviously that just stops you from getting any hot water um, to start with I thought it might have been a gas issue because we were running low um, but that made no made no difference switching that over and I, we had pretty rubbish internet so I was sort of just trying to see what I could find at the time but um, yeah, after speaking with Truma, we found that they were able to confirm that yeah, it was an actual fan and it's this one here on the side that had the issue. But what you are able to see is at the back here, there is another, just about to see it flashing away there, the sequence. Um, so again, if you haven't got uh, an up-to-date control unit or a unit that actually gives you the error message, you can read it from this as well. Um, and all you do is just give them the different code. So I think it was five single beeps, followed by two solid, followed by a single beep. Um, and again, giving them that information would then tell them what the fault was. So it has been a couple of days now because I've gone on and ordered the replacement part, the, the, the fan unit that sits in here. Um, and to get this part out, it is just a case of lifting this up and gently moving it out of the way. Um, you've got these different um, catches here. So again, you don't need to keep pulling it right up just a little bit and then it will slide out. Um, but it does give you the opportunity to give this a good clean, which I'll have to do in a minute before replacing that. And then, this is where the fan unit is, um, and again, I'll show you the fan unit in a second, but it is three uh, T20 bolts holding this in. So you've got one here, one there, and one at the top. Um, and then once you've unclipped the electrics, it does just pull out quite simply. Um, but um, yeah, straightforward. But yeah, it's a, a T20 torque bit that you need to replace this part. So this is the new part. It does have an O-ring that needs to go back in place just to seal the unit, but again, I'll show you that part in a, in a, in a second. Um, and when you get the kit, the replacement, you do get the, the screws um, to go with that as well. So you can either use your existing um, or the new ones, but again, as you get a new O-ring, put that in as well, don't use the existing one. Um, but this is the actual part itself, quite straightforward. I'm not entirely sure exactly what fails on these, but um, yeah, when I did speak to Truma, they did say pretty much when that error code comes up, 99% of the time, it is actually this unit that fails. But um, what we'll do is I'll get the camera set up so you can see me reinstalling this before we go through, and uh, fingers crossed this does actually fix our problem. So um, yeah, I'll try and get the best angle I can um, so yeah, so the first part obviously get the new fan unit, get the o-ring, it goes right around the outside piece here. 
So that's how it will go in. And it goes with the two outer bolts and then the one at the top. So again, it will only go in this way around. But again, you need to make sure that you get this in and don't pinch the O-ring. And when you're putting this in, I've just tighten them up gradually. And then as you've got them slowly there, then you can torque them up. And what you're not trying to do here is do them as tight as you can, because obviously there's only plastic parts and you will get on and break it. So. So that's the three in, and then you've got this last connection here, which is your power and sensor connection. So again, you can plug that in. And this is what it looks like. And again, you should be able to see the O-ring go around nicely and, and tighten up again. Just spend the time, make sure you get that part right. Then it's just your, your three screws, as I sort of mentioned. And again, you don't need to undo anything else. It's just those three bolts. Um, but what I would recommend is, even if you don't have this problem, you do actually take this cover off and give this sort of, uh, get some compressed air and just give that a good clean from the outside. Because again, when you take the cover off, you'll probably find that this is covered in dust, a bit like the, the cap. But um, what we'll do now, is uh, get some power on and um, yeah, we'll just see if uh, this actually resolves our problem. Right, yeah, so let's see what happens. So we should be able to turn this on, then we'll see, hear the clicking sound on the actual boiler, and hopefully it doesn't give us an error message. So that's on, that clicked in, so it should spin up. like that and with better luck it doesn't beep at us and that is looking like it's doing exactly what it should do so um, yeah that has solved our problem No error message, water is heating up, and I do have water in the system. So um, yeah, if you get an error six on your panel, or you get no hot water, that definitely seems to be your problem. So when it comes to replacing the part, I just had a little bit of doubt, as you would, because like I said, it's a 300 pound part that needs to be replaced. Um, and when you do look on forums and do a bit of research, there's a couple of other things people talk about. Um, so again, it's, I was sort of a bit, ah, oh, do I or don't I? And when you read the descriptions, when you get them from different companies, it does clearly state on these websites that this is not a test part. So you can't purchase it, see if it fixes your fault. If it doesn't, send it back. Once you've purchased it, that is it. But um, after speaking with Truma, the service they offer is a an actual testing um phase so you can send it to them for free and within 14 days um, obviously they'll come back to you and tell you for sure whether that part is at fault or not which gives you that reassurance that yeah when you're making that purchase 
that should resolve your problem. And on the phone, they did say they're pretty 99% confident that would be the case. But um, yeah, I didn't want to be left with a 300 pound part and not actually resolve my issue. So um, yeah, probably a step that I would recommend. And um, yeah, like I say, up to 14 days that was. I think I had a, a phone call back from them within five days, just sort of stating where I was. But um, yeah, a really great service from them. So yeah, top marks, Truma. Rightio, so yes, if you have got the Aero 6 on the panel or you have no hot water um, and you're getting issues where the actual unit, trimmer unit, isn't actually firing up, hopefully now this is giving you sort of all the uh, information that you need to actually test it, where to go and send it if you want that reassurance and go through the process of actually getting that replaced. Like I say, it's uh, literally three screws and that one electrical connection that comes away. Um, very simple to actually replace. It will probably take you five minutes, if that, once you actually know and have the confidence that is the actual issue that you have. Like I say, the actual panel itself will give you the error code if you've got a more modern um, digital panel. If not, like I say, you'll get the flash code actually on the back of the um, unit itself. But again, both will relate back to that fan, that's that fault. Um, but um, yeah, like I say, if you're uncomfortable and not confident about replacing the part, obviously seek a local dealer that can carry out the work for you. Um, but it is quite straightforward. Um, but uh, yeah, any uh, questions, drop them in the description below and I'll come back to you on that if I can help. And uh, as always, consider subscribing uh, to help grow the channel and I will see you all on the next one. Cheers everyone.